What's up boys, today I'll be shooting guys the fastest way to get shooting badges right now in NBA 2K23. This actually applies to both next gen and current gen, so current gen guys don't click out the video quite yet. But I've had this game for like under an hour so far, and I've already got a shooting badge, and I've gotten tons and tons of bad points every single time that I play. And the final thing before we hop in, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm helping you guys out, so help me out, leave a like and subscribe. So let's hop in and start getting some shooting badge points. So one of the top things I actually recommend doing is after playing a game, you guys can go ahead and go to the team practices. And this has always been a really good way to get shooting badges. And I'll talk about which what things you guys wanna do in the team practices. But again, this is on next gen and last gen. So. so what I want you guys to do is go to your map real quick, go ahead and go over to courts and then go to team practice and then click Y on Xbox on next gen to go ahead and set a waypoint and then head over to the team practice facility. You guys can do this after every single game, by the way. I believe it's like a max of like five times you guys can do this and you'll get at least half a badge for sure every single time that you guys do a team practice. I honestly think with this method, you guys could probably get about two badges an hour. And by the way, the team practice facility is like literally right next to the stadium. So it's really, really close. You guys can really just go like back and forth if you guys wanna keep on grinding these badges by doing this team practice method. And by the way, I'll have more methods throughout the entire video. So make sure you guys stay until the end that we guys can get the max amount of badges. What I recommend doing is obviously just clicking on B right here to go ahead and select your workout that you guys wanna do. And as you guys can see, I've already gotten a shooting badge and I haven't even spent like an hour in the gym. So I've only done four drills by the way, and I've been able to go ahead and get a badge. So what I recommend doing is probably the best one to go ahead and do if you guys want to go ahead and get this the fastest, you guys can guaranteed pretty much get three stars on this is by doing the corner threes workout. And by the way, I'm a 64 overall. I don't have like any attributes really at all. I have, I believe a 75 three point shot right now, and I've been able to make tons and tons of shots, including in these workouts. So don't worry. You guys don't have to have an extremely high three point rating. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the corner threes challenge right here. It's really, really simple to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and work on corner threes. It's this one right here. And let's start it, man. All right, so corner threes, pretty much all you guys have to do is make 12 shots out of 20. You have to make 12 out of 20. Really, really simple to go ahead and do. So I'm still trying to work on these jump shots here, the new shot meter. I played on last gen last year too, so it's definitely still kind of new to me. So we'll get a, we'll get a hold of it though. Usually you just go on a run of like greening literally everything. Shooting is somewhat easy this year too. It's really, really easy to green stuff. So just once you guys get your shot down, it'll be really, really easy for you guys. Of course, I ended up choking on camera, but I was able to get 600 badge points by getting two stars on that. By the way, you guys only have to make eight out of 20 in order to get 600 badge points for shooting. So it's really, really easy to go ahead and do. And I'll show that again here, how many times I've been able to get three stars on this one, because it's really, really simple, man. So, so far I've played this four times. I've gotten two, two stars and two, three stars. But one of those times being just now, I got the two stars. So, and I, by the way, I just switched my jump shot too. So I was trying to get used to it. But yeah, it's really, really simple to go ahead and do these corner threes right here. Super easy to go ahead and do. You do get more badge points though for doing some of these hard ones. So it's up to you guys if you guys do want to do like the three point deep hard challenge. We'll try that one right now. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do with this one, but we'll see how well this uh, three point deep one goes for us. Yeah, this one's actually really, really easy to do because all you guys need is seven in this one. I believe it does get harder though. The more times you guys get three stars, I believe it is a little bit harder. So keep that in mind. But we just got 1300 badge points right there for shooting by doing this deep threes. And all we had to do was make seven out of 20. So really, really easy to go ahead and do. And by the way, you guys can kind of cheat it a little bit too. I'll show you guys real quick. So what I want you guys to do here is like kind of creep up behind this right here. So they're going to end up tossing the ball. Eventually, you just got to kind of like get behind it and try to inch your way up because instead of taking a deep shot, it'll let you actually like move up. So I'm trying to get the ball to dispense here and I try to move up. I try my best to go ahead and move up and then that way we are able to get a little bit closer. Dude, I'm doing horrible now. Apparently, I can't talk and shoot, man. It's been really, really bad. But you can kind of move up a little bit as you guys can see. That one obviously didn't count, but usually you guys can kind of creep up a little bit. Like this isn't really a deep three right here. It's uh, pretty damn close to the perimeter. So really, really simple to do. Dude, I'm doing horrible right now. That one was really tough for me. I have no idea why that one was a lot harder than the first one, but it is what it is. We got eight, we still got 800 badge points though for just making four shots. I think you might only have to make three, by the way. So maybe this one's the move over the corner threes. The corner threes though is a lot faster and a lot easier to do. So it's kind of up to you guys, but you guys probably will get a lot more badge points by going ahead and doing this three point deep challenge right here. So in my opinion, that's probably the best way to go ahead and get some shooting badge points, but you can also get a crap ton of shooting badge points by playing actual season games. And I'll show you guys what I want you guys to do in order to get a bunch of shooting badges inside of real games. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a My Career game against the New York Knicks, and I'll show you guys what I am actually able to do. All right, man, let's hop into our game, and I'll show you guys what I do in order to get a crap ton of badge points. Hopefully, I don't shoot as bad in this as I did in the drills. Pretty much what I do is simple. So pretty much just start calling for the ball, and then once you guys get the ball, all you guys want to do is hold down on the left bumper. It's the same pretty much method that we've done in years past. Just get the screen and then go ahead and shoot. If you guys are covered, 
then you guys want to go ahead and pass it and get some playmaking badges at the same time so just pretty much do pick and rolls and pretty much try to score shoot some three pointers or if you guys are like maybe a finishing guard or something you guys can go ahead and just shoot mid ranges so really really simple to do just hold down that left bumper and try to get some picks all right let's try it again here i actually have a brand new uh corner badge so let's go ahead and try shooting in the corner now we'll try the pick and roll with Giannis here that was actually really really guarded i definitely should have passed the ball there but still scored all right let's try it again here we're gonna get Giannis to give us the screen i don't know what he's doing there that's definitely not a screen Giannis, come here there he is all right there we go got the screen shoot and boom right in easy got that one done that's some more badge points for us so really just do the same thing over and over again if you're guarded see like right there we're wide open and that's another bang right there so really pretty simple to pull off and again if you guys are getting shut down or just go ahead and throw, pass the ball and get some playmaking badges for you so really really simple to do let's try it again here and boom that should be easy money unless I, me I messed up my shots so yeah hopefully you guys understand the method pretty much just if you guys are playing games do the pick and rolls if you guys are doing practice i'd take either the deep threes or if you guys don't have as great of a three-point shot and can't hit the longer range ones then i'd probably do like the corner threes but i have one more huge tip i want to show you guys here so we'll go ahead and cover that just after this game so that definitely gets you guys quite a few shooting badges for sure as long as you guys don't take a bunch of dumb shots i believe it does take away some i believe it does take away some shooting badge points if you guys do miss a bunch of shots so try to take only the smart ones pass the ball away in those pick and rolls when you guys are not able to take a clean easy shot so always keep that in mind but yeah it's really really simple to go ahead and do in order to get some uh, points for you guys but something i want to talk about here is really really huge because if you guys just got your hands on the game and are watching this pretty early but when this game is releasing what you guys can go ahead and do is this main right here welcome to the league you guys get four badge points you guys get four badge points that is huge four badge points right here for completing this and it's pretty simple to go ahead and do you guys just have to complete some of the different things like complete the handle your business and the control the narrative which is really really simple to do all you guys have to do is win one game and then also get a highlight play and then for this one all you guys have to do is win is play two more well play five games and then go ahead and get uh, 60 points assists rebounds blocks all that different stuff really really easy to do that's definitely a huge thing that you guys are going to want to be doing for sure just make sure though that you guys are focusing on your quests because your quests are really the key to becoming really just a better my player when it comes to the game so i'm progressing further and further and get your overall up and just making your my player better so make sure you guys focus on these quests because there's a ton of things that you guys can do man so i already talked about in the last video how you guys can go ahead and talk to ronnie and go ahead and like achieve rebirth and all the different stuff this is a huge thing you guys have to do so check that video out if you guys have not already seen that gym rat is huge make sure you guys go ahead and claim that gym rat will definitely help your my player out for sure and you also you can do like the my point accelerator all these different things that'll definitely end up helping you when it comes to nba 2k23 and just really i hope you guys have a great year of nba 2k23 stick around subscribe but if you guys enjoy this video please subscribe to the channel right here for some more nba 2k23 tips and check out this video up here youtube has recommended that video for you they know that you'll love it that's why they recommended it for you so give it a watch